The official answer to how big the leak is keeps getting put off. For the first time, BP gave high-resolution video to scientists trying to figure it out, but it's still holding back on other material. Our estimates should be independent of BP. We should take them out of the process. Senators fired off a letter telling BP it must not hinder or undermine a truly independent estimate. Meantime, there's mistrust over another issue. Very heavy sheet. Oil lingering unseen beneath the surface. It's marine scientists from Gulf State Universities, not the government or BP, who've been flagging giant undersea plumes for weeks. University of Georgia researchers found one three miles wide, the University of South Florida an even bigger one. But BP, responsible for managing the fallout, appears to be in a perpetual state of denial. They insist all the oil is on top. The oil is on the surface. Do you not believe well, these plumes exist? Harry, there are not that we. No one has found any large concentrations of oil beneath the so surface. So these scientists no, are no making it up. So the scientists are making it up. Harry, I think all we can know for certain is what we've measured. I think it's irresponsible for them to be, to be denying that. Too often, I critics say the best information isn't coming from BP or the government's unified command. I had one of the state's scientists tell me that they have discovered oil just a few miles from the wellhead. It's miles long as a plume. But if BP is behind the curve on subsea oil, not everyone is. CBS News has learned that a proposal to track undersea oil went to the Coast Guard nearly five weeks ago. It would use modified Navy sauna buoys like these. The real-time maps would give communities their best chance at getting resources in place. But backers were stunned by the Coast Guard's response. BP was calling the shots. This spill is still being totally funded by BP, the Coast Guard replied in an email May 9th. And anything that gets executed must go through them. BP is also managing what you see online. When people Google terms like oil spill and claims, the company is paid to have its website show up in the ad section. BP wouldn't say how much it's paying to have those websites pop up in those searches. President Obama has already criticized the company for spending $50 million on TV ads to boost its image.